He is known for being the natural son of a writer and an artillery officer. He is recognized for being placed in an orphanage as a foundling child. His name is Jean Laurent d'Alembert. In the bustling streets of 18th century Paris, a remarkable life was set into motion. Jean Laurent d'Alembert, born as the illegitimate son of writer Claudine Guerin de Tenson and Chevalier Louis Camus Destouches, faced a difficult start in life. Abandoned by his mother on the steps of Saint Jean Laurent de Paris Church, he was named after the patron saint and left in the care of an orphanage for foundling children. However, destiny had other plans for young d'Alembert. His father, though absent during his birth, quickly intervened and ensured that his son would not be left to the confines of the orphanage. Placing him under the care of Madame Rousseau, the wife of a glazier, d'Alembert found himself in a world where encouragement was scarce. Madame Rousseau provided him with shelter, but little support or recognition for his intellectual pursuits. Yet, this did not dampen the young philosopher's spirit. As d'Alembert grew, his thirst for knowledge became insatiable. His innate curiosity and intellectual prowess caught the attention of his father, who secretly financed his education. Although Destouches did not desire official recognition of his paternity, he recognized the brilliance within his son and sought to cultivate it. Through perseverance and the generosity of his father, Jean Laurent d'Alembert embarked on a journey of intellectual exploration that would shape his legacy. From these humble beginnings, a philosopher, mathematician, and encyclopedist would emerge, leaving an indelible mark on the Enlightenment era. Jean Laurent d'Alembert, a brilliant and curious mind, embarked on a journey of intellectual exploration from a young age. His education began at a private school, where he laid the foundation for his future studies. However, it was the influence of the Destouches family that shaped his path. In 1726, d'Alembert received a generous annuity from the Chevalier Destouches upon his passing. At the age of 12, d'Alembert entered the prestigious Jansenist College de Cotonations. Here, he immersed himself in the study of philosophy, law, and the arts. In 1735, he proudly graduated with a baccalaureate in arts, armed with a solid understanding of these subjects. Yet, as d'Alembert progressed in life, he began to question the Cartesian principles instilled in him by the Jansenists. He scoffed at notions of physical promotion, innate ideas, and the vortices. The Jansenists, hoping to steer him towards an ecclesiastical career, discouraged his interests in fields like poetry and mathematics. However, theology proved to be insufficient nourishment for d'Alembert's voracious intellect. Instead, he delved into law, spending two years in law school and eventually becoming an avocat in 1738. But his thirst for knowledge could not be quenched by legal matters alone. Medicine and mathematics captivated his attention, and he pursued these subjects with equal fervor. In fact, he even changed his name from Jean-Baptiste d'Alembert to Jean-Laurent d'Alembert, perhaps seeking a more harmonious identity for his multifaceted pursuits. As d'Alembert's brilliance shone brighter, his accomplishments caught the attention of Frederick the Great of Prussia. The monarch proposed naming a suspected moon of Venus after d'Alembert, as a tribute to his achievements. However, d'Alembert humbly declined the honor, displaying his modesty and dedication to his work. Jean Laurent d'Alembert's pursuit of knowledge, his rejection of traditional dogmas, and his unwavering commitment to intellectual exploration serve as an inspiration for us today. In a world where conformity often stifles individuality, d'Alembert's story reminds us to question established beliefs and embrace diverse interests. His example teaches us that true fulfillment lies in following our passions and seeking knowledge in various domains. Jean was a brilliant mathematician and philosopher, known as Jean Le Ron d'Alembert. In the early years of his career, he made significant contributions to the field of mathematics, pointing out errors in a widely used work called Analyze Demetry. This caught the attention of the Academy de Sciences, and Jean's talent was recognized. His interest in fluid mechanics led him to publish a groundbreaking work on the refraction of solid bodies, earning him praise from the renowned scientist Clairaut. Jean's theories and explanations in this field were ahead of his time. In 1741, after numerous attempts, Jean was elected into the prestigious Academy de Sciences. This marked a turning point in his career, as he gained recognition and respect from his peers. He went on to become a member of the Berlin Academy and a Fellow of the Royal Society. But it was in 1743 that Jean published his most famous work, Trait de Dynamique, where he developed his own laws of motion. This work solidified his position as a prominent figure in the scientific community. However, Jean's contributions extended beyond the realm of mathematics and science. When the renowned encyclopedia was being organized, he was chosen as co-editor alongside Denis Diderot. 
Jean authored numerous articles, including the famous preliminary discourse, where he expressed his doubts about the existence of an external reality, aligning himself with the idealist philosopher Berkeley in foreshadowing Kant's transcendental idealism. Throughout his career, Jean's groundbreaking ideas continued to challenge conventional wisdom. In 1752, he presented D'Alembert's paradox, which stated that the drag on an object immersed in an inviscid, incompressible fluid was zero. This paradox revolutionized the understanding of fluid dynamics. Jean's achievements were acknowledged by his election as permanent secretary of the Académie des Sciences in 1772. His influence extended beyond scientific circles, as he was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1781. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.